Okay, so I did my video on Summit Sierra. Um, it's a public school in Washington. It opened in, it says 2015, but upon further research, I found that it first opened its doors in August 2016 to grade nine students only. Um, and then each year they added those grade nine students moved up a grade. So eventually it will be grade nine to 12, um, which will be the first graduating grade 12 class will be in 2019. Um, it, like I said, is a free public school. There's actually um, 11 schools that follow this model um, from across Washington and California. Uh, they originally opened in California where each school has their own makeup they still believe um, in the importance of their um, model which I'm just gonna go through I'm just gonna go through the site um, because I thought it was really um, neat the way the site sort of does things um, so they're really focusing on having the kids college and career ready so they have project time um, and they believe in project-based learning. So for all their core subjects, there's project time. And they read 30 minutes every day because they think that that is really important to get their literacy skills. They have personalized learning time where they learn through a combination of online playlists, peer-to-peer -peer coaching, and one-to-one -one tutoring for their teachers. So. Um, I'd be curious how they set up the one-to-one -one tutoring and how many teachers they have. Um, they practice math problems for at least 30 minutes a day. They have mentor time. So they have an assigned teacher who's the student's coach, college counselor, and advocate and supports them to excel both inside and outside the classroom. This is the same teacher they have throughout their entire time at Summit Sierra. So it's, you have the same mentor the whole time. And they have community time, which I thought was really neat. Um, they just basically half an hour a day where they can interact with anyone in the school they want to. Um, and the ability is a safe place, a place of bonding, where they can mentor each other, express their thoughts and feelings, and build meaningful relationships. Um, and they also have the school um, they say it takes place after school as well, so kids can do whatever they want. Um, so expeditions are their electives from what I gathered from the site. So they do them in, like, they immerse themselves in them for two weeks straight, four times a year. So they get eight weeks of electives, essentially, um, but that's all they work on for those two weeks. So it's like, I guess, a passion time in their school. I thought it was really actually a neat way to sort of frame the electives. Um, kind of something to look forward to for the students. Um, so anyways, that was sort of their website and just a little bit about the school. Uh, I thought it was a pretty, uh, pretty interesting school. So that's my video. Thanks.